All right. Good evening, Julene. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you, Sam. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. So you and I have been chatting for a while. So we are looking to, you know, kind of catapult into your next opportunity. You have had some fantastic experience thus far in your career, um, but we're looking for that next move. So let's start with what you've been doing right now. You've been working as a branch manager for Launch Credit Union. So tell me a little bit about that role and what a typical day in the life looks like. Okay, so um, currently a branch manager at Launch Credit Union, the Ormond Beach branch. So usually my day in the branch starts like between 7.45 and 8.15, making sure everyone is coming in, they're getting ready to start the day to greet the members as soon as the doors are open and um, answering questions. Um, if there are any meetings or um, any memos that I need to go over with them, that's how we start our, our day, you know, getting them excited, you know, for the day and hey, let's get the work done, but have fun while we're doing it. Um, right now I have a team of five, Great. Um, goes up and down. Sometimes I may have more, it all depends on, you know, what's going on. So basically accountable for the day-to-day -day operations of staff, um, that includes sometimes hiring, doing interviews, um, sending out um, new job postings Great. over to HR, to the recruiter, and you know, letting them know what I'm looking for, um, times that I will be available for interviews. Um, once we do the onboarding, they usually come out to my branch yep. for the first couple of days. And just to get them acclimated, welcome them, um, answer any questions that they may have, whether it be, um, you know, in reference to benefits and, um, you know, we're sales, you know, banking, so it's sales. So yeah. they usually have lots of questions about bonuses and incentives. Um, there's a lot of planning and directing of work. It's constantly, no one day is ever the same. It changes. It's a lot of planning. Um, things are happening unexpectedly, right? So you go in and the morning they start off awesome and then everything is going haywire. So you have to stay on your toes. You have to be ready, yeah. you know, to once you get in there, hit the floor running, you know. Um, Timekeeping, monitor um, to make sure that the employees are clocking in and out, taking their lunch that is, is required by law, you know, and if they're not taking lunch, well, what's the reason, you know? So um, just making sure that um, everyone is doing what they're supposed to do. Um, if there are complaints, um, then of course I have to do the investigation of complaints and report to the HR manager as to, you know, I take, you know, notes and um, answer any additional questions that may be needed. Now, let me ask you a question because, well, and I want to circle back to the sales aspect and banking, because I think a lot of people don't realize that. But while, while this is fresh on my mind, is there a lot of compliance involved in banking and managing your branch? What does that type of compliance look like as far as your reporting and what you're responsible for in that sense? Okay. So, yes, um, banking is sales driven. Um, yeah. There are numbers that you have to meet. Some people don't like to call it numbers, but it is what it is, right? And so it is broken down into different areas. You know, your consumer, your business, real estate. Compliance is very big yep. um, in banking. Um, you get audited. Um, you're audited every day. And then you have the auditors that come on site okay. and actually go through everything. We do a lot of loans as well. Okay. And so when they do those audits and you're out of compliance, maybe you're off by a digit with a date of birth or, um, you know, with the interest rate, what was quoted versus what's printed and signed yeah. on the contract. So it's a lot of you have to constantly go over paperwork. You're constantly verifying because, of course, you don't want it to be a finding for the organization. Yeah. And as you know, when you have findings, then there are fines and fees that comes along with that. So you have to be on point making sure everything is done correctly. If you find a finding before the auditors, and sometimes you will, it's best to go ahead and put a note 
Okay. Find and found. So that way they know that you're on top of it and you're making that correction. Fantastic. See, and I love that. And again, I think it's something that almost, you know, folks, when we walk into the bank, since we don't quite realize what's all happening behind the scenes, as far mm -hmm. as that type of data and that analyzation goes now in this to kind of switch back now to the sales side of it, do your folks earn like commissions and bonuses that you're in charge of like tracking based on their sales performance? Or what does that look like? Okay, so um, with a typical teller for my branch, they're supposed to um, refer 12 products each month. If they go over it, fantastic. So for each referral that turns into a closed loan, they do get an incentive. So at the end of the month, once um, everything has come in, all the um, data is pulled together from referrals for auto loans, personal loans, real estate, then I go through those, I um, find my people, my branch, and then I have to upload it into um, a worksheet sheet that goes over to payroll and Beautiful. it is paid out monthly. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Julene, why at this stage in your career are you looking to make a move? I am looking to make a move because both of my girls are now in college. I have the ability to spread my wings and really get out there and do things that I love. Um, I'm excited about it. You know, it's, um, I want to learn new things. I am open and um, very eager to um, get into an organization where I can learn and grow at the same time. So I'm excited about this time in my life. Wonderful. Now for this particular position that we were kind of chat with a little bit off camera, you know, would involve you being very client facing. But again, I feel like you have a lot of exposure to that right now and currently what you're doing. How do you feel about being in front of a client and having to sell them on your services um, in that type of instance? What are your thoughts there? Um, I would feel very comfortable. It's what I do every day. You know, you come into my office and you may come in maybe uh, to question a charge on your account. So, you know, as I'm servicing you and having that conversation, I'm looking at your account to see what are the products or services that I may be able to offer you? You know, I'm always looking to put my members in a better financial well being. So it will be the same for my clients anywhere that I go, looking to help them and bring some value to the organization. Beautiful, beautiful. Julian, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the recording and chat with you a little bit more off film if that sounds good to you. Yes, ma'am.